from millennium to millennium, through the centuries, from the 19th to the 20th and the 21st. With knowledge and experience, Ludwig Svensson has become an innovative textile operator in the world market. But was that always the case? Let's see how it all began. Ludwig Svensson is born in the western part of Sweden, in a region known for its rich textile tradition. Local entrepreneurs employ nimble-fingered women who weave homespun fabrics that are sold by travelling salesmen. Water from the river Viscan powers the growing textile industry, which makes dyeing and finishing possible. As Ludwig Svensson turns 25, he establishes the company that two centuries later will offer textiles all over the world. An impressive modern factory with steam-powered mechanic looms is completed by 1904. Sweden has its first curtain factory. Even today, you can find the factory in its original location. But what happened next? Quite a lot, actually. The second generation takes over in 1928. Thanks to satisfied customers, steady production and the company's good reputation, Ivan Ludvigsson succeeds in leading Ludvig Svensson through a period of global recession and world war. The 50s. The world opens up and consumption takes off. For the third generation, brothers Ivan and Stejan Ludvigsson, international business is self-evident, not least because an open mind to the world has always characterised the company. Materials like polyester and techniques such as warp knitting are invented. This opportunity paved the way for a design and innovation oriented company such as Ludwig Svensson. The customers are growing, in numbers as well as in size. In the beginning of the 1970s, Ludwig Svensson takes the fortunate step from home textiles to the contract market. Climate screens for greenhouses are the next market to conquer. Ludwig Svensson receives its first patent for a knitted climate screen in 1980. The first patent of many. The foundation of the global market leader of the 21st century is laid. Today, the fourth generation, siblings Anne and Anders Ludvigsen, manage and develop Ludwig Svensson. We provide the contract and horticultural markets with textile solutions for climate and environmental control, produced in our own factories in Sweden and China. And our offer is worldwide. We have offices in 10 countries. Our screens and textiles can be found everywhere, from American greenhouses to train seating in China. Decorators and architects can find the optimal fabrics for the Opera House in Oslo, contemporary office chairs, or even the seating on the most modern of trains. Today, more than 20,000 hectares of Svensson screens in greenhouses all over the world help growers not only to produce tasty vegetables and beautiful flowers. The screens also save energy, thereby reducing the carbon dioxide emissions by 5 to 6 megatons per year. And the environment is important to the company. With our main office and factory in the beautiful valley of Heghorn, where our children angle for perch and roach in the small river, the work towards a sustainable environment is a personal concern to us. To conclude, sustainability and satisfied customers have always been driving forces for Ludwig Svensson. From millennium to millennium, through the centuries, from the 19th to the 20th and the 21st.